Alrighty, we are going to talk about Tag Zito today, uh, customizing it, in fact. Our last uh, session, we talked about just using some basics in it. We're going to talk about customizing it today. On our agenda today are things to prepare ahead of time. Your words and phrases that you want to use, including tildes to connect the phrases, the words and the phrases that you want to use. Uh, if you want to customize your colors, you're going to be using an HTML color code chart. I'm going to show you how to find those and how to use them. Pretty cinchy. And then, once we get into Tagzito, we're going to be talking about adding themes. Those are those custom colors you came up with. And also adding shapes, in case Tagzito does not have one that you want. And tightness settings. So let's get started. I'm going to share my desktop with you. Okay. The first thing that I have is I'm going to do a, a tag video on the United States. So right here I have all the United States. And I'm going to copy them as well as some phrases like United States of America I have with the tildes in it as well as just United States and then America. So I wanted those to be um, repeated more than once. I'm going to go to Tag Zeno. Have that opened up. And I'm going to click Create. If you don't see the Create button, it might be that your browser is not seeing it. You might need to use Chrome like I am doing instead of Internet Explorer. I'm going to go to Enter Text. And I know from the hint down here that says use Control V on my keyboard. So there that is. I submit it. And there's the United States. The only problem here is they're shaped like South America. So let's go find a shape here. I know it's got the United States down here at the bottom. If I choose that, there is the United States, shaped like the United States. I don't like that theme, though. It doesn't have anything to do with my country. So let's do this. I'm going to go to theme and customize it by clicking on the theme menu. And I'm going to see if there's any that fits my bill. I do not see any red, white, and blue. Darn it. I'm going to have to make it myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and Google HTML color codes. I've already done that here on this tab. You'll see that there's a plethora of options. I'm just going to click on the first one. And this color code chart. I want red, white, and blue. Here's a red. If I click on red, down here at the bottom, it gives me the codes for those. So these letters and numbers are the codes that I want. I don't really want the number sign on this one. Get white. Get an acceptable blue. There we go. If you don't like that red, maybe you want a different red. There you go. So you choose which ones you want. I've already gotten the ones I wanted, and I wrote them down at the bottom of my file on Google Drive right here. So I'm going to copy from there, go back to my tag Zito, back to my themes. And I'm going to add a theme, because darn it, I want my own. So I'm going to erase their default one, blue meets orange. Highlight it and click the enter button a couple times. Oops, got to go control V on this one. There it is. And come on there. I want a black background on mine. I'm going to submit it. So there's my USA color theme. I'm going to add it to my theme list. Close that. Go back to themes again. And there it is, USA. Check this out. Pretty cool. So I have copied and pasted my words. And I have customized my colors. However, I noticed that my colors are a blend. My reds and my blues are blended to make purple, and my whites and reds are blended to make pinks. I don't want that. I need to customize these things. So what I want to do is I'm going to lock that theme, the red, white, and blue theme. I'm going to go down to Word and Layout Options, and Color Variation. I don't want it to vary my colors, so I'm going to tell it zero. And I'm going to say, yes, use that source color. So if I accept that, 
you notice that my red, white, and blues are only red, white, and blues. So I've lost that color. I've got my color thing in there just the way I want it. Uh, tightness settings are kind of interesting. Maybe I want to turn my tightness down to 50. Let's watch what that does. Do, do, do. Come on, tuxedo. Hmm. Turning it down to 50 kind of knocks off half of the shape. Now, let's go back and change my tightness to 150 and check this out. Check it out. Ah, much bolder in the shape there. So you can see tightness has something to do with it. If it's not fitting exactly the way that you want, then you might need to adjust the tightness settings. Now, Let's say you're doing a report on something that Tagzito doesn't have a shape for. Well, we can add our own shape. Let's say I'm doing one on North America. If I go to the shape option down here at the bottom, is add image. Oh, heck fire. Let's say we're doing one on Florida next. We're going to go individual states next. So there we go. So I just went out to the web and did a screenshot of a map of Florida. And this is what I've got. Now, it's not quite the way I want it. I can play with the threshold and the blur. Ooh, that was, whoa, about there. And maybe I want that, or maybe I want a lot of detail. There's even the keys down there if I want. So I'm going to scoot you down a little bit here, and then I'm going to say accept that. And magically, I'm going to turn the United States into Florida. Of course, I'll need to add new text and, and, and whatnot in there and choose my theme again. Maybe I'm going to use the colors that Florida is best known for. Uh, probably maybe all, all there's going to be some oranges in there for oranges, etc. So those are just a couple things that you can do with Tag Z. I'm going to stop sharing my desktop with you now. Go back to my whiteboard and give you some ideas of how you can use those things. Uh, for social studies and humanities, obviously uh, using uh, Tagzito to uh, do reports on, on states and countries is pretty good. I can also use it for historical events such as wars or people such as George Washington or William Shakespeare. Um, something with William Shakespeare, maybe the titles of his plays or the main characters in his plays. Uh, reading language arts, chapter or scene analysis from a story or a book you're reading, maybe a play. Character sketch, what does that character look like? What words describe that character? What colors represent that character? That would be pretty cool. In math or science, um, properties or features of elements, concepts, and biological studies. Maybe you're going to be doing the parts of a cell. Maybe uh, the larger parts of the cell are going to be larger in your tag zeta. They'll, you'll have to repeat those words more. Uh, for math, visual relationship between a concept and real life application. Maybe things in real life that you're using geometry for, um, such as building and architecture, or maybe careers that use algebra in them. That would be pretty neat. So anyway, those are just a couple ideas of how you might want to use Tagzito, believe it or not, in real life, as well as for your school reports. I hope that you enjoyed this little session, and next we're going to be talking about using Google Drive with Tagzito.